What's going on guys, welcome back to Cheeky Crypto, happy weekend to you all, hope it's been fantastic so far. Tonight we want to talk about Ethereum, something, yes, not spoken about enough, but something everybody should have on their radar. Now we know that Ethereum has got the potential ETF just around the corner. Now yes, this may have been delayed, or this may get delayed, this may initially get rejected, but it is inevitable, sooner rather than later, Ethereum will indeed have an ETF. And what we do now know is that the US SEC have delayed the decision to approve or reject the ETF. Now, whenever this may get approved, guys, this is really going to drive the price of Ethereum much greater, I believe, than what we have seen for Bitcoin. Now, may that be on May the 23rd? It may be sooner. We will obviously keep our eyes and our ears on this one. This is going to be very exciting going forward. And we're going to look at the potentials of Ethereum in tonight's update. So it's fantastic to have you all back with us once again. Before we do get into it, guys, as always, smash the like button, subscribe, tap on the bell, all the usual good stuff with the subscribe being the most important. Let's get the channel to grow even further. So Ethereum ETFs, it's going to be very exciting. I do believe when these are eventually approved and I do expect Ethereum, like many others, to outperform Bitcoin. Now, the SEC have, of course, delayed the likes of Invesco and Galaxy's Ethereum ETFs, and they expect more delays to happen within the coming months. But what we can see is the only date that matters for spot Ethereum ETFs is May the 23rd. So we have around about two and a half months until that date. So what is going on with Ethereum's price action? What can we expect to happen? Where can we expect to accumulate Ethereum? You know, what is the prices? What are the charts telling us? So first of all, let's take a look at Ethereum's weekly chart. That most recent update I did for Ethereum a few weeks ago, we were obviously looking at that potential breakout or breakdown. And that was back in February, where we have seen that upper line of resistance broke through. We had that breakthrough with Ethereum really pushing to the upside. And we have seen an impressive $3,993 Ethereum on this Binance chart. Now that's fantastic. We have broke through previous resistances, the likes of $3,580 and that upper trend line we did see that was broke through around about $2,800. So in my opinion, it is a matter of time now until a new all-time high for Ethereum. That one does look very likely. But where can that price push on up to? Are we looking for Ethereum to head north of $6,000? Well, first of all, I want to put on an optimistic trend line here for Ethereum. And we're going to drag this one over here. First of all, this starting back on the 19th of July 2021, we did see this low on this trend line at $1,706. Our next touch point was here on the 24th of January 2022, where we did see this one found as support at 2,159. And then this was lost, crucially, on the 9th of May 2022 at $2,453. So we know the price is just reacting at this point. We're either seeing support or we are seeing resistance and vast actions are happening from here. Now, the origin point of this trend line, we can see 185% gains. We then seen another 65% gains before we did see a dramatic drop to the downside of 64% for Ethereum. So what are we going to look at next? Well, looking to come up and test that trend line. Now, of course, we can look at it from this week's perspective, which is highly unlikely seeing $5,538 Ethereum. More than likely, this is going to take a little longer to play. And that does bring into question, are we going to see $6,000 Ethereum? And it does look highly likely. But of course, first of all, we have to see the all-time high here broke for ETH at $4,868. And considering where we sit just now, guys, we're only 25% from that all-time high. And I do think we have got a great chance of seeing a new all-time high before the ETF is approved. Where can we possibly look to accumulate Ethereum? 
Well, we can see the, the daily, the weekly and the monthly are oversold. Now, an optimistic approach here would be coming back down onto this trend line and find support here. Around about $3,000 would be a very nice number. At $3,000, I will be buying Ethereum again. And I think that is the opportunity to really get in for this ride to the upside. I do think we're going to $6,000 Ethereum sooner rather than later. But what does this look like going forward for Ethereum? Well, we know we have seen this dramatic push to the upside when we did see ETH hit its all-time high. But can we expect this kind of movement? Again, let's be a bit more conservative. Take the move from the 21st of September to around about the 8th of November where we did see a dramatic spike for Ethereum's price action and we'll bring it down to around about that bear market low. Should we see this kind of price action happen once again, which does seem the likely scenario, well, that puts us up towards $13,500 Ethereum. I think that kind of move is highly likely. Are we going to be a bit more optimistic with this one and take this entire move from the 9th of March 2020 and bring that one over to the current bear market low that we do have? Well, that puts us up towards $49,000 Ethereum. And in that previous video we did cover, we were talking about $50,000 Ethereum. And we can see, although it does seem bonkers considering we are at $3,800 currently, I do think we're going to see an unbelievable rise in the price action of Ethereum, something many would have shrugged off some time ago, myself included. But with this vast inflow we have seen for the Bitcoin spot ETFs, I truly believe that the Ethereum spot ETFs will outperform Bitcoin by some amount. We have already seen the likes of Grayscale selling off some of their Bitcoin. And my prediction at this moment in time is they're going to move from their Bitcoin into an Ethereum ETF and be ready for the Ethereum ETFs to go live. Now we've covered previously Grayscale having around about 600,000 Bitcoin dropping down to over 400,000 currently and I do believe that is going to be reinvested into Ethereum driving the price of Ethereum to unimaginable heights. And to round out tonight's video, we're going to head on over to memberships.cheekycrypto.io. You guys will be well aware there is a membership here for everyone, a very vast and inclusive website. But we're going to have a look at some of the data for Ethereum. We're going to go into that data portal and have a look at a few facts and figures to drive the price of Ethereum to unimaginable heights. Now we know we are 850 days from that previous all-time high up at $4,800. We are not far from there at all. But what is very interesting currently for Ethereum is when we take a look at the native Ethereum tokens that are currently locked up and these are rising in a dramatic fashion. We are currently seeing over 14.4 million Ethereum locked up. Now, yes, this is down in the last year, but not down by much, and we are seeing this dramatically increase. Now, what we can see is the dark line here is, of course, the price of Ethereum. The yellow line in amongst here, let's zoom into this one just a little bit, is the native tokens that are locked up. And I believe what we have seen here is going from around about 12 million to over 14, some point, 15 million Ethereum locked up. I expect this one to increase in a dramatic amount. When we do see these ETFs locked up, well, we're going to, in my opinion, see Ethereum push back up to these heights that we did see up towards 30 million Ethereum locked up. And at that point, I then expect to see Ethereum pushing up to unimaginable heights, some dramatic figures that we can only speculate on. But as we have spoken about, we can see a potential 6,000. We can also speculate on that $49,000 Ethereum. Something that I do think is likely and is in our future. I do believe these ETFs will drive ETH to an unimaginable height. I would love to know what you guys think. How high can Ethereum go? What's your target for this one? Have you started accumulating Ethereum yet? Or are you still waiting to, personally, on this next pullback for Ethereum? Wherever it may be, I am buying. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed tonight's update. Earlier today, Nick, of course, covered off Bitcoin. That video is right here. Head on over. Check it out.